everybody to Winning England Potsky Bait Company and we are once again back here in the bait lab. Today we're going to talk about uh, again curing mature adult salmon roe or eggs uh, here from the Pacific Northwest and a couple things we can do to toughen these skeins up. Today we're going to do a wet brine, one of my favorites, because it does such a really good job. I do a few things that adds an extra scent element to the eggs and then they perform fantastic. Later in the fall, even coho jump all over these eggs. It's impressive. And one that we use not only for frozen uh, skein, if you get uncured frozen skein, this wet brine works really well. And we've demonstrated that in the past and have had great success with it. But you can use this process for fresh, uh, fresh roe out of fish that you just caught. Now these eggs are a couple days old. Most of the blood we've gotten out of the eggs uh, simply by moving it along and, and absorbing it out with paper towels and whatnot. Uh, one thing that has uh, been proven, uh, for me anyway, and what I've experienced in the past, if you cannot get all your blood out of the eggs, then a wet brine, for whatever reason, just seems to do a really nice job. It actually loosens up some of that blood, and once the eggs are cured, I have a hard time finding that blood remaining in the eggs. It does seem to allow the blood to work its way out of the eggs utilizing a wet brine. So that is one advantage. If you have eggs that are somewhat bloody, I would recommend using a wet brine and I think you're gonna be uh, pleased with your results. So uh, these eggs are pretty much ready to go. Uh, again, most of the blood is out. I am gonna cut them into a few uh, smaller sections here just so that they move around in the, the liquid brine a little better. And really sharp knife, not really popping. Uh, many of the eggs and cutting right through the membrane, no problem. And so, again, we're trying to toughen these eggs up. I'm not going to use uh, the fire cure in this regard. I want to use something that will give the skin, the remaining skin on these mature eggs, a little more durability. Again, fire cure is a great cure for false salmon. It does wonderful uh, on eggs that are a little more immature and have much more skin on them because we're not relying on the cure to toughen. We're just relying on the cure to cure the eggs and add the bite stimulants and the color. In this case, we want to toughen it up a little bit. So we're using that uh, mixture I, I do with uh, Baraxo Fire. Again, quarter to half cup of sugar into your Baraxo Fire, a full new bottle, 32 ounce. Quarter to half cup of sugar, good to heaping tablespoons of the Firepower Krill Powder, and a heaping tablespoon of sodium sulfite to add a little extra bite stimulant, that sodium, the sulfites that get in there, it does in fact uh, create uh, an egg that has uh, more bite stimulant properties. So we're going to take that mixture, it's already pre-done, and the recipe I just gave you, we're going to sprinkle it on the eggs here. And again, you can use a pretty generous amount because of the low sulfite content, we're not worried about over curing or softening the eggs. Uh, just quite the opposite with the Boraxo fire, the Borax salt in here, it actually toughens the membrane. The other thing we're going to do is our liquid brine is our Potsky's uh, fire brine. Okay, This is designed to toughen bait. So if you think about fire brine, it's engineered with salts and bite stimulants in a liquid brine. It takes your herring or your anchovy or your alewives and it toughens the skin. It actually will, will tighten the scales, set the scales, and toughen the meat. So why would it not work great as a liquid brine, a wet brine, that's going to toughen and tighten the skin? That's exactly what it does. So when I have uh, more mature eggs that I want to toughen even more than just with the Braxo fire, I rely on a wet brine for all those reasons I've mentioned now. It's going to toughen and tighten. It's going to help with uh, eggs that got a little extra blood in them. Wet brine is a great way to go. So I have in here a couple bottles of my red fire brine. That's going to be the base for it. Now, wet brines are also the opportunity I use if I want to add extra scent to my eggs. Um, and I won't do this anytime I'm curing eggs and putting them into a bag or a jar. The Mike's line of oils work fantastic. Uh, you can add them onto each individual baits after eggs are cured and utilize it out in the field, you know, a couple drops on each bait to try and figure out what's going to trigger them on any given day, what, or, you know, what's going to get them to bite. I won't add this to my curing process when it's in the bag or in the jar or anything like that. It disrupts the cure process 
and I don't like the way the oil uh, reacts with the eggs. That being said, in a liquid brine, I have a lot of confidence and faith in the fact that I can put a little bit of this into the liquid and it still allows the eggs to cure. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind is you are committing a couple scans of eggs to a particular scent, whether it's tuna, crawfish oil, or sand shrimp. Uh, those are my go-tos when it comes to curing eggs for fall salmon. The other one I do like to use is tuna in the oil right out of the can. And again, this has this is not in the water, this is tuna in the oil. So that's why I can tell you, utilizing some of the Mike's oils as well, no more than a tablespoon for a couple bottles of fire brine. And it seems to allow the eggs to cure properly, adds extra scent to them, extra bite stimulants, and does a real nice job. So before I put the eggs in here, I'm gonna go ahead and empty one complete can of the tuna in oil. And I'm gonna stir this around and make sure it gets all broken up, equally distributed throughout the vat, just like that. There we go, okay? Now, these eggs that have got the cure on them, um, I'm just going to pick these up and lay them into the wet brine. Usually I use the paper towels to dump them into the bags, but I'm just gonna go ahead and lift these up here. That's why I got gloves on, no problem. The amount of powdered cure that I've added is the right amount for putting it into the wet brine. I don't need to coat the back side of these. Um, as you can see, they're just gonna float in here. Now, the uh, fire brine has a lot of color to it already. The Braxo fire has a lot of color to it. Now, if I wanna darken this up even more, as these will float in here and begin to take on color, I can certainly add some of the fire dye, okay? But you can see the tuna's already, the tuna's already turned color. And uh, with that, we know over time, those eggs will begin to take on a good amount of color. So you just let these float in here, stir them around every once in a while to keep the, keep the powdered cure, make sure it's not just settling on the bottom, but it's getting absorbed into the liquid and also into the eggs. This is a, a good 24 hour process. I let these bathe in here for 24 hours, absorb as much of the cure, the scent, the color, as everything I want. Again, I'll stir them around so that we get equal distribution of the cures and the, and the tuna scent and everything on the eggs. After 24 hours, sometimes I even let them go 36. You're not gonna burn them, it's not gonna destroy them. It just even gets them cured better, tightens that skin even more. Take them out, put them in a colander, say over your garbage can, let that excess liquid drain off of them. And then even uh, set them out on, these puppy pads work really well as an absorbent, paper towels, what have you. Do not use newspaper. You don't wanna get uh, ink and you know stuff from newspaper coming off onto your eggs. So clean surfaces, puppy absorbent pads work fantastic for your work area for curing eggs. Paper towels work great. Let them sit on the paper towels or the puppy pads for you know six, eight hours, uh, egg side down, skin side up, drawing that extra liquid out of them. Then you can bag them up, put them in your freezer, containerize them, put them in your fridge. They're gonna be nice and tough. Uh, I recommend taking them out after you've drained fluid off. I put them in the fridge for a couple days in plastic tubs layered on paper towels, that really gets those eggs to set up. They're gonna get nice and firm, not overly firm. They're still gonna milk out really nice in the river. They're gonna be tough. They're gonna last multiple casts. So give them time to set up out of the liquid, drain, put them in the fridge for a couple days. They're gonna firm up nice and tight. Might even feel a little bit rubbery. Don't be alarmed by that. Once you cut into them and put them on your hook, they're gonna fish just fine. So. Just a couple things you can do with mature Chinook eggs or mature salmon eggs, creating a more durable bait that's gonna fish, give you a little longevity on the river, and definitely get bit by fall uh, Chinook or coho. All right, that'll do it for us today here in the Bait Lab. Thanks for watching. Kotsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.